What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Cigars and Everything Else podcast, episode 63. In this week's episode, <laughs> Great. we're going to wait back. 68. We in 68. We in 68. We're we, we trying to figure it out. So we're trying to figure it out. And uh, I know, I know we ain't 63. I know we ain't 63. My, my memory about this long. You just said that to me before we went on. <laughs> hey, it's 68, man. <laughs> D, we got a number 68, or we going to skim on past that? Ain't no 68s in sports, and if they is, we don't know. They on the bench. All right. Well, this week's episode is the Vernon's episode, man. 68 is for Vernon's, man. Number 68. Number 68, Vernon's. Hang it up. Yeah. Hang it up, man. That's one for us. Hey, <clears throat> listen, mm-hmm. let's, let's get into the stars of the show, man, while we at it. Oh, we're oh, we going well straight to it. Right into it. Okay. We might hey, well look. Jump straight to it, and then we can jump to everything else after that. And you know, I'm I'm all for that. I told you yesterday I was giddy about getting to the episode today because I haven't had I, I, I've I've had days where I had planned I'm, I'm gonna smoke a cigar when I get off work I'm gonna do it and I haven't gotten to it show day I'm like all right here we go we got a day where I know I will be cutting and toasting and puffing on my cigar hands down no interruption no nothing and get my cigar time so I've been craving the cigar time. All week long. So, yeah, I'm ready for it, man. Let's, let's get to it. You already know what you get? What, what you smoking this week? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it was, it was, a, it was um, a pretty easy choice for me. I went with what I already had in the humidor um, for the last few days, or a few last few weeks, actually. Uh, so, I didn't, I didn't go shopping today or anything like that. I had a few choices in the humidor. And it's somebody that we've smoked before. Some kind of sometimes we jump over them just because that name of who they are, we know it. I'm going with a Rocky Patel, Rocky Patel. I had this um special edition sitting in the in the humidor for a while, and I've had been wanting to get to it. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I want I want to see what this uh, special edition has in store. <clears throat> you know, it's interesting you bring up Rocky because it triggered my mm-hmm. thought to a conversation we had off air. On last week's episode, well, not last week, but the last episode we recorded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You mentioned uh, saying about what each brand is in terms of luxury and, and <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, they meet luxury standard or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? That's a conversation is to be had. I don't know if you want to have it today or not, but if we got time, we get had. to it. But yeah, it, it was a very for those who, who don't know what we're talking about. We had a very, very interesting conversation. I think it was after the show, right? Yeah, yeah. We like immediately recording. after the show, we started heard. recording, yeah. and we kind of went into what brands kind of put you in what class. And we 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 went with like the automobile thing that we always talk about, whether it's in that Mercedes class, whether it's that that um, Rolls Royce class, or whether we're talking Audi or Lexus, or we, is it a Camry? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that Honda is it, is it reliable? But not 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 luxurious, but reliable. It's gonna get you from point A to B. You know, or is it gonna give you get you from point A to B on with a, with a work rough ride, or is it gonna get you there in that opulent ride? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, Rocky Patel, we did have we did. We, ooh, do you remember what you said? I do you remember where you placed him? I might have called him like a Lexus or Acura or something, man. I don't remember <laughs> who was it. I think it was I think it was something like that. I was like, ooh, ooh, we're not gonna put him in that. At least that BMW Mercedes level, like Ram. I don't think Rocky there. But I, no, maybe you said like Genesis or something. It's like a Genesis. Did I? No, I didn't say Genesis for Rocky. I said Genesis for um. Oh, it wasn't Monte Cristo, was it? No, it wasn't that. I think, I think you, had, so, you had a harsh take on Monte Cristo. Uh, no, Oliva. Oliva, I said. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because it can get you there. It can get you there. It can get you there nicely. It can get you there nicely. It, it almost feels luxurious, but it's just quite missing going to that next level to be a now, luxurious it, stick. So is, is Rocky doing themselves a disservice? Do they not have enough that's in that class? That upper echelon class? This is Rocky we talking about. This is Rocky. Rocky got some nice stuff, man, but I don't know what I, I don't I can't name the cigar I had that gave me luxurious vibes. 
So like, it, gave, it gave you good vibes. It, it felt good, but nothing that just felt like over the top. It wasn't Cohiba. It wasn't Placencia. The stuff that you know what? has made me feel at a point, and the stuff that... Rocky that, has uh, never made you feel that way. Cohiba has made what? me feel... Rocky's never made me feel that way. I think I have to agree with you. Love him. We didn't we, 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 we put it. We didn't put it this way <laughs> when we talked about it before. <laughs> like you, you see it like, oh, that's nice. It might be fun to drive every now and then, but I don't want one in my garage. I'll rent one. If I'm on a trip, I'll rent one. <laughs> now that you think, now that I think about it, now that you put it that way, I don't think I've ever had a Rocky that just. Just made me like, and I have some favorites that's, that 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 are rocking. That's in my like my my top ten for sure. Yeah. But nothing that's ever really just made me go ooh. Oof, Rocky has cigars that, that give you that that can become your favorite, and they're they're really good everyday cigars. You know what I'm saying? And they're gonna be mm-hmm. stuff that has a home in your humidor all the time. But all the time, yeah. It's something that's just like. All right, let me go pull this out right here uh, to go celebrate this big deal. I just special got, occasion, you know yeah. Special occasion stick. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Like, I don't know that I pull the Rocky out with the champagne bottle and, and be like, "Let's get right." <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's hard on Rocky, man. Nah, no, uh, it ain't I, hard. I, I, I don't even, I don't even mean it hard. Like, I just <laughs> don't know that I celebrate with a Rocky, but I, but, but do I pull Rocky out at the cookout and, and we have a good time? Most definitely. Most definitely. And be the, proud of it. Go to the cigar uh, shop and, and sit down and, and smoke a, at the lounge with a Rocky? Yeah. I even take Rocky yeah. to the club. You know what I'm saying? But, 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 seven, but, but, but a seven-figure seven deal, Rocky ain't it. I don't a seven-figure deal with Rocky, man. I don't, I don't get on the boat with Rocky and go for the... <laughs> <laughs> Rocky, ain't get a, Rocky goes to the club with you, but Rocky ain't on the boat with you. Rocky, Rocky at the cookout. Yacht, Rocky. Rocky at the cookout. He the homie. <laughs> he the homie. We ain't on the yacht. He ain't Give on the yacht, yacht, though. But since he come on, you on the, you on the yacht. Yeah, man. Like, it's just the element of sexy that's missing from the Rocky Patel cigars, man. This feel Ooh. like hate, man, because I love Rocky so much, man. But it's just his sticks don't go to that, that, that. That level, man. They don't Okay, go Rocky. Level. They just will do. Hey, look. All love from the cigar guys. The Vernon cigar guys. Rocky, got to deliver. You got to deliver. Give me that dab it off. <laughs> Give me that Cohiba. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's Give just... Give me that Placencia. Now, do Rocky have some cigars that, that go hand in hand against some Cohibas? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, without a doubt, but... When Cohiba like, right, let, me get, his on, let me get on my when Cohiba said, "Let me get on my on my job," like I, I don't see Rocky going to that next level. Like you know, what I'm mm. Saying? Mm. quality over quantity, Rocky. You got you got you got to give me one. Got to give you a balance. One. He's a balance between the two. He gives you quality yeah. and quantity, but yeah. but that extra emphasis on quality. Where it's just like, all right, I'm about to just knock your 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 socks off, you know. It, I don't, I ain't I ain't really had that, man. Like you know, <laughs> it's just it's just hard to hear. I get what you're saying, and I agree. It's hard to say, bro. <laughs> but now just breaking it down, it's it's, it's 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 hard to hear, hard to say, <laughs> hard to hear. But hey, it don't feel good saying it, you know. <laughs> but it is what it is, man. It's what it is. So what you got? Uh, I have a Nika Rustica, Connecticut broad oh, okay, by Drew Estate. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. By. I've They're seen those before. I've never grabbed one. I've never grabbed one. Yeah. The smell off this is one of those ones that make you go, ooh, that smells mm-hmm. delicious. Like, it just, yeah. I know you talk about, talk mess about people that smell, man, but. <laughs> I've, hey, I've started, I've started to do it now myself. i I, I, I like to smell my cigars now. <laughs> it's just something there to it. So I was like, it's weird. All of them. Yeah, at first I was weird, but you know, now when I when I took this out the wrapper, I was not on camera when I did it, and I, I, I did. I did. <laughs> just look extra something for your palate, man. You know what I'm saying? But look, get you get right get here. you ready. It's just yeah. something to get you ready. It gets you something to get you ready. 
Hey man, we getting we becoming old creepy guys, man. Like that's all it is. <laughs> let me, old let creepy me, dudes, let man. Me real quick. Let me get a sniff of that good. <laughs> this is sniffing the panties is what we doing, man. This is <laughs> <laughs> so to get you ready. Get you get 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 your mind right. Know what you're getting into. But uh Hey, look, this one right here has got a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper uh, by the name, hence. It's I got a uh, Nick Rod yeah, yeah. origin and uh, Mexican San Andres binder. Okay, okay. Uh, some um, Rodman fillers. And for me, uh, Nick Rodman and Ecuador Habano. That's what we got. Origin Nick Rodman, wrapper Equ- Ecuador Habano. Yeah. All right, well, let's get into it, man. I got to snip this little, this little pigtail. I guess is what they call yeah. it. Things yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, man, while we was on the subject, though, of uh, I'm going to go straight cut on that, by the way, just because of this. Mm-hmm. But uh, while we on the what subject of luxury and whatnot, we, mm-hmm. we, one of the brands we get on that's supposed to be considered the, the Rolls Royce of cigars Let's talk about them for a moment. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, when, when you said that, I already knew. I already knew. Because right. I don't know how they got that. I don't know who gave them that title, who likened them to that, and said yes. Because I don't see it. I don't Let's see it. Let's get into that. Let's get into that, right? Let's talk so, about it. Uh, YouTube channel by the name of Cigars Daily. And shout out to uh, Cigars Daily. Posted a video a while back, sometime recently here, discussing Gurkha and the hate for Gurkha online. Mm-hmm. He says there's only two types of uh, opinions on Gurkha. Either you love it or you hate it. There's no yeah. in between. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I won't argue with that. Now, also, he's got a theory behind it. His theory is those that love Gurkha started smoking it at a certain period of time and those that hate it started smoking it at a different period of time and that's why the opinions differ. So, he says that, um, let's start from the top. He said this goes all the way back to the 90s when Gurkha came out in the late 90s. I'll give you the backstory. They came out in the late 90s that was also followed by a cigar boom in the early 2000s where there were more smokers coming in. There was a difficulty in um, people being able to roll enough cigars to supply the smokers. So inventory, there started being a rush on, on trying to get it out. They started finding new ways to manufacture it. It's the online boom also going around the same time. He says, throughout this time, the people with brick and mortar shops were able to sell their cigars at a particular price, but the people online, because they didn't have rent and all these other overhead uh, costs, they were able to mm-hmm. charge uh, a cheaper amount. So he said there were times you would see people selling cigars for 93% off and all these crazy amounts. Now, what happens is the reputation of being the Rolls Royce of cigars, that started when they first hit the scene. Gurkha hit the scene, they were supposed to be just killing it. The internet boom, where people started selling their cigars for all these cheap, low prices, created a situation where Gurkha couldn't keep up with manufacturing. So therefore, they started losing out on some quality trying to compensate for quantity that was needed throughout mm-hmm. the time. So all the people that hate Gurkha began to hate them throughout a time where they uh, they started losing some quality. You know what I'm saying? In, okay. In the production of okay. Cigar. He says about eight, seven, eight years ago, they started rebranding, started reblending their cigars, and now they're trying to become, you know, more respectable. So he, he feels like people that like Gurkha come from the people who've been smoking it more recently. And of course he says, there's always <clears> one <throat> that went back, revisited, still don't like it. But in general, that's the case. Mm-hmm. So, interesting to hear. That's the story. of yeah. How they, they, so where they were at. So in our cases, um, for the timeline, ladder. was that? We're the latter. The people. Yeah. 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 We are with the latter. You know, we, we, we got to the cigar game about, what, 13, 14 years ago. So our first experiences were with the uh, mid-2000s Gurkha, the, 20, the, tw- the 2010 and up Gurkha. Mm-hmm. Not the 90s Gurkha. 
Mm -hmm. But then, you know, Gurkha has been, you know, we, we, we've written them off. But even after writing them off, like Brickhouse, I smoked them, wrote them off, never revisited. But Gurkha, for some reason, I continue to give them chance after chance. And I think even on the show, we smoked them at least twice on the show. Yeah, and also dedicated, and dedicated, dedicated the whole episode to Gurkha. And this is within the last two years. And <laughs> close but no cigar. Pun intended. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> so, I mean, like, so I, I, I get the cinnamon and maybe the breakdown of, of the understanding of, okay, yeah, they might have been killing it back then. And then they they might have dropped off for for quality for quantity purposes and and you're just trying to get numbers out there and make the sales, but then trying to get back to quality, still got a long way to go. If you ask me, um, we've smoked them, smoked them and smoked them, gave them chance after chance and said, you know, maybe we were unfair. You know, we were unfair to Pedermo. Uh, we even went back to Breakhouse and had some mixed reviews about Breakhouse still. But Gurkha, for some reason, it just literally, again, pun intended, leaves a bad taste in my mouth. You know what I mean? I just have not seen enough. And maybe they're just, you know, going across the board as far as, like, trying to hit everybody's palate and not specifically sit, um, sitting on, let me just go ahead and create one phenomenal cigar that more uh, majority of cigar smokers can can enjoy. Just to get my name back in good graces, right? I don't know, but um, I'm not. I'm not seeing it. So I have to. I have to highly disagree <laughs> with the with with the sentiment of you know they just went through a bad spell and they're just trying to get back to quant because they thirteen years, fourteen years. I ain't seen it. Still ain't, ain't got that plan it. right. <laughs> Still ain't got it right. Yeah, and this is this is by smoking multiple Gurkhas. Not just one and done, not just two and I, not three, not even three strikes you out. Yeah. We give them chance after chance. Yeah, man. It's, uh, we fall in the group of people that just don't rock with Gurkha, man. And, and he was telling the people, I, I haven't seen this, but he said that people online <laughs> that see a, a turd on the ground from a dog and take a picture and be like, look, it's a Gurkha on the grass. Gurkha. So like, <laughs> <laughs> apparently, apparently, people people hate it. <laughs> like, despise Gurkha, and, yeah. and, and I can see why. And like we try to give them opportunity to to prove themselves to us, and you know, some people have completely written them off, and we 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 just held out hope that maybe maybe they might be all right. But because we we don't we don't want to be unfair where we warrant warrant those low ratings, those. Um, less than favorable reviews. You know, we try to be fair. We try to be fair, even with spice. We've even come back and said, you know, maybe we we were looking at spice wrong, right? And we've had a, had 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 a, had, a, had a turn of uh, of opinion in, in, in a sense. Gurkha just ain't seen that. Not from us. Not our way. Yeah, not our way. I I agree with you. I agree with you, man. Speaking of this, this cigar is supposed to have some spice in it. Mm -hmm. Which is how I ended up with it. So <laughs> I've been turned on it. You know what I'm saying? So Gurkha yeah. has the ability to turn me. Just take some of the leather out your sticks. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to so, so take, take all of the leather out. Yeah, just take all. If, if you and that's what I'm saying. Like maybe just just creating a cigar that everybody could love. Like if leather is their underlying tone for most of their cigars, and not everybody's gonna like that leather. Dow that leather. All the way back, take it all the way out, and start with a the cigar there, and then start creating some that's going to bring that leather back and regain those Gurkha lovers who who really love that 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 leather. But I guarantee you, the majority of cigar smokers not looking for leather in the, in their stick. Majority, yeah. And but you know what? And this is what I would have to say could be the issue with Gurkha if they went that long putting their qu quantity over quality. They're always going to be at war between the two. Like Gurkhas figured out that they can make money doing a certain thing, and they're, it sounds like they're in the business of making money. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I don't think they're ever going to really put primary focus on 
entirely on the blend and quality anymore. Been there, done that. And they, they just, they've been doing business too long one particular way. I don't think they're going to go all the way back, man. I think I yeah, just like what it is to expect for them. They accept their reputation and they accept their <laughs> they fan base and they, <laughs> they seem cool. Like, you know, what you mean? know what? even with the re- in, blends in, and the rebrand. And in, in, in some instances, and in, in a sense, that's fine. That's fine. You know, we've always talked about selling to your audience. If you're happy with your audience, you know, you're not going to be for everybody. Not everybody's going to love you. But you can you can make a living and be very successful and just aiming towards your niche, right. hitting your audience. And if Gurkha, they're fine with hitting their niche, then just be there. I'm just not going to be in your niche. There you go. <laughs> I'm just not going to be in it. There you go. And uh, a lot of other people, apparently, you know what I'm saying? Ain't going to be in your niche either. You, but God bless them. But anyway, man, you know, because we always ride on Gurk. I thought that was a pretty interesting story. Um, yeah. Wanted to put that story out there for people, you know, and, and you can feel how you feel about Gurk after hearing it. But it, it don't. Yeah, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep riding on until I <laughs> until I have a reason to not. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I got I got to see something that comes out with Gurkha, and they say, "Yo, this is the one." And then I, I, might be some reservation and some hesitation, but I pick it up. I pick it up. If, if, if Gurkha comes out with one, they said this is the one. I pay him some attention. I got no problem with that. No, nah, not if Gurkha say this the one. I got to hear the people saying. <laughs> they got to hear the people saying. It's got to be overwhelming. Mm-hmm. It's got to be yeah, overwhelming. I ain't listening to nothing Gurkha got to say no more. Because they've they been running with that Rolls Royce thing. and, and Yeah, you know. time to let that go. If that was something from 95, oh. talking about almost 30 years ago, let that go. Let that go. Yeah, man. <laughs> let it go, bro. You run, you you more like a, man, I don't even know what to describe them as, man. I'm going to just say one of them little electric cars. <laughs> nah, a Yaris. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're the Yaris. Or, matter the of fact, Yaris. even better than this, better than this. You remember when the, um, what's that car? The Prius. Remember when the Prius came out? And everybody was kind of hot on the Prius? Yo, you can get like 500 miles on a, on a tank of gas or something like that. Yeah. But it's not quite what the electrical cars are, but it's kind of in that vein, but that's not quite hitting it. But it's not going to get you with a, what, what a strong fuel power vehicle is going to give you. And it's just like kind of just lost, left in the wind now. It's like, okay, electric cars are, 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 are getting people miles on electricity, but then we ain't performing like, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a normal, regular car or whatever. No, we're just free. We're just here trying to find our way. That's at one point, them, one point, them Priuses stood out. They was ugly. They was ugly, but they was ugly before a purpose, though, because it was distinct. Like, you know, that was a Prius. You know, you get that car, you're going to be able to drive a few states with just filling up one time. Yeah. Because Gurkha is very accurate. That's accurate. That's accurate. Gurkha, you are is a Prius. Prius. You're a Prius. <laughs> you might have been special at one point in time, but nobody cares about you, you now. You spark when you started, but now you're just garbage. Man, <laughs> hey, look, you you want to take this into the, uh, what you were saying about, uh, about what? brands? About about your about your top your top five luxury brands, and so we can on. do it. We can do it. Come on, let's let's just run right into it because I wanted to hear some names because I got what two or three out of you that day. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. I can't I can't remember my my, my um my memory's a little fuzzy on exactly what I said, what my correlations were, but uh, the sentiment's probably still the same. So <laughs> let's hear. Let's see your 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 top five uh, luxury cigar brands. My top five and define, luxury, and define luxury, what you luxury, mean by luxury. Break it down for people. Okay. So when I say when I say luxury, I'm talking about top notch luxury. So when I say Mercedes, we talk about the best of the best when it comes to Mercedes the Benzes, the you know saying S sixty three or the or the Mercedes Mercedes Maybach, top top of the class. If we, I'm talking about Rolls Royce, we're talking about, you know, saying that ghost phantom. You know, we're talking about that high, high up there. We're not talking about, we're not talking about your E-Class, even though I love the E-Class. We're not talking about your BMW 7 Series. Yeah. Not, I, I said 7 Series and E-Class. And to me, 7 Series and E-Class are 
It's, it's, it's not it's not S class and seven series. It's it's E class. You and disrespected seven some people. I I called it. You disrespected <laughs> the whole. And I want and I wanted to make sure I, I clarified that so they know that it was intentional. <laughs> <laughs> it was some disrespect behind that, bro. I called it. You know, I was gonna point it out once she slowed down it, that you disrespected a lot of people just now. So man. that's that's that second tier. Those, those those are what you're looking at, you're like your your, your your nice vehicles, but just not quite hitting that hitting that hitting that uh, that rim. But we're talking about like Mercedes Maybach. We're talking about um your your, your top of the line ghost or whatever. So that's that's what we're talking Bentley. about when we're talking about these cigars. Bentley, you know what? Yes, even Bentley. What? Yeah. Yes, because I I okay. Outside of BMW, and just BMW, sometimes it's just pure, pure, um, um, what's, what's the word? When somebody goes, rival, right, rival, rivalry, right, rivalry, hate. But Bentley, I don't have a reason to have a rivalry hate against them. It's just, they're just not hitting me in my soul, right? So that, that's where my disdain for, for Bentley comes. It's just when I see it, it just doesn't resonate with me. But I see what they're trying to do. I can see where somebody can say that's luxury to them. I can see where somebody can say that, yeah, that's top notch to them. I can see it. I can get it. I understand. Okay? It's just not for me. It's just not where I usually lean towards. All right, so let me get into it. So when I'm talking about my top, top, top luxury when it comes to cigars, I'm thinking Davidoff. I'm thinking Davidoff. I haven't had the best Davidoff yet, yet, that is to come. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking Davidoff. Davidoff is going to give me that upper echelon. Um, Placencia. Placencia is going to give me that upper echelon. That, that's, that's, my, that, that's my Maybach right there. Okay. Placencia is my, 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 my Maybach. Um, Cohiba. Cohiba's going to be a nice ride, man. Cohiba might, be, might even be my Maserati or something like that. My, 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 my Quattro port. Quattro some Forte. people would say that's not a uh, luxury car, though, man. Some people would. Some people would. But to me, and their price tag says it is too. <laughs> um, actually, you know, I wouldn't even say a a, a Quattro port, um, because uh, for some reason, like the higher Cohibas that I've smoked, they're a little bit more calm and chill than that yeah. than that than that, that rev of that engine would have been. So I would probably put them in that. I would, I would probably put them in that that that, that Rolls Royce vibe. Because I even with the Kobe I smoked on the, on the last episode, I believe it was that last episode. Like it just handled everything just so smooth. Like when you talk about that smooth ride of, of, of a Rolls, it just it's just smooth. And I think that's what uh, Cohiba gives me. Um, like I said, that Placencia, that Maybach, because it got it has just has it just has all the bells and whistles. Like it just hits you everywhere, everywhere that you want to be hit when it comes to your cigar smoking experience. It, it hits you, and it hits you just right. And it's like right. Maybach, like has everything involved in the vehicle that you could just ever want in a, in a, in a car. Uh, my waves, am I wavy? Yeah, you still wavy on my side. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Continue. Mm-hmm. Um, so what we at? That's, that's, that's three? Yeah, you that's three. two. Uh, you said Davidoff, uh, Placencia, Cohiba. Cohiba, yeah. okay. Ooh, so we got two more. Two more that's top, top notch. Luxury. Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo hits me there. I thought you said they weren't last time when we talked off air. I think, but I, I, like going back and thinking like right now, like, okay, 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 okay. I think what we said last time, it was like right at that that mm-hmm. turning point, that turning tier. Yeah. It was on the cusp. It was on the cusp. But I'm thinking about my experiences too. Like anytime I have smoked a Monte Cristo, I absolutely loved it. Like it's, it's taking me there. It's taking me there. I, I, I've had more. Monte Cristo's taking me there more than Rocky has. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, so, okay, yeah. So it might be on that cusp because I have smoked Monte Cristo. It hasn't taken me there. But then when I've had a really good Monte Cristo, mm-hmm. when I've had a really good Monte Cristo, I was left with that, yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
agree with that. So I, I've had some that didn't take me there. I, I've gone there a lot with them too. You've gone there with, with Monte Cristo. And then Liga. Man, my Ligas. Whether it's at T52 or number nine, I'm, I'm torn a lot of times when it comes to comes to that Liga. That Liga is either that T52 or that number nine. Honestly, I probably I probably would say number nine right now. But then if I smoke a T fifty two, I'm be like, yeah, this is it. But then I'm smoking number nine, be like, yeah, nah, this is it. <laughs> it's kind of one of those things. Okay. But then leave so, about so, a number nine. I'm gonna say number nine the right T, now. The T series have taken you to that whole same place that the Cohibas have taken you, that the Monte Cristos, the Davidoffs, and the uh, Placencias mm-hmm. have gone. Yeah, I'm thinking more so number nine than the T's. But number nine, okay. yeah, number nine right now. I'm, I'm gonna say number nine for right now until I smoke another tea and then be like, yeah, I, I love this. But it, it's taking me there. It's taking me there. That was probably your original brand. Uh, yeah, I think that was probably yeah. That was probably my. I think that was my original favorite brand. My favorite. My original favorite top notch. When I when I'm thinking luxury, I'm thinking Liga Pravada. But then of course we've gone to it exploring more Cohibas and. I'm saying, yeah. And then we ran into Placencia, and it's like, all oh, best are off. <laughs> and then <laughs> I finally had the courage to pick up Davidoff. I've seen Davidoff in, like, before last year. I would see him and be like, oh, that, that price point. And I got I, I stopped being afraid of that price point and just went for it. And I was so glad I did. So, so now, yeah, Liga, you have some company. I don't know how to, I don't know how to rank you. But you got some company. Placencia is in your company. Davidoff is in, in, is in your company. So, here we go. So, Drew Estate got there and Rocky didn't. Mm-hmm. I'm not mad at the fact that, that Drew went, went there and Rocky didn't, though. Yeah. It sounds See, it, almost blasphemous, but I'm not mad at it because <laughs> they, they occupy the same type of company. They're like they the do. same type of company. They do. But they gave, but, but they gave you Liga Pavada. They went out on the on 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 the, uh, on the ledge and said, "We're going to offer Liga Pavada, and this is going to be our top notch name sign." And when you see that this is the best to draw a state, that you have a Nick R- Rustica, and I haven't smoked it before, so you'll give us your review of it. But in my opinion, what I'm thinking when I see the Nick Brandings of Jewel State that's not the League of Provider. So they get they put a whole it's, it's kind of like when Hyundai gives you the um the Genesis branding. They say, yes, we're Hyundai. This is our Genesis. Yeah. And I think that's what Drew Estate did. And that's what Rocky needs to do. And say, yeah, all right, this is what we got. This, we're, we're, we're Rocky, but this is our this is our big boy. This is our heavy hitter. But you know. Drew does that a lot, though. Drew is so mm-hmm. low key with with Drew. That's like a part of their business. You know what I'm saying? Is where they they partner with a lot of people and then they drop their stuff under whole new names. Yeah, 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 yes, absolutely. Because I've had some times where I'm like, Drew Estate makes that. It's a Drew Estate cigar. Oh, yeah. them fat bottom Betty. That's Drew Estate. Oh right. man. Yeah. So this, this Nika Rust uh, Rustica, you know, I had I had it in my hand before I figured out it was Drew Estate. Oh, it was Drew Estate, mm-hmm. okay, cool. So that, that's that's part of they they company, which is interesting because I guess in a way it keeps them hot. You know what I'm saying? Because it keeps them from, I guess their name being so out there, even though their name is so out there. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're able to kind of stay under the radar, but still stay relevant at the same time. Yeah. Cause I would say this, cause I, I think like it, it allows them to do what Rocky does, but then not wear out their welcome. Like Rocky does. Cause I, I've seen some cases where people get sick of Rocky, get sick of seeing Rocky. Man, it's too much Rocky, 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 Rocky. And, and then, and we love Rocky, but then I can see where the hate towards Rocky might come. Like not hate, but haters like being, like being hated on. Yeah. And that's what happens in, in Rocky's case a lot of times. Rocky drop a lot of sticks, man. Because he got he got to put that RP band on everything. RP, 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 RP. Yeah, he's gonna let you know. He gonna let you know. This is a Rocky. <laughs> Rocky's Rocky's two in your face. Drew Estate's in your face just as much. 
but more subtly done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. That's interesting. Rocky, Rocky actually could protect the brand a whole lot more if he some of these experiments he put them up underneath for up. Uh, you know what? Company. And check this out. Like I've said this before in the past, man. It was what 2012. I bought a Kia. I bought a Kia SUV, <laughs> and I thought the Kia was dope. I was like, yeah, this Kia is pretty nice. It got everything in it that the other cars were want, but nobody was looking at this Kia because it's a it's a Kia. And my thought then was, man, if you took the the badge off of these vehicles. A lot of times people wouldn't even know what's what. It's kind of like your 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 designer clothes sometimes or whatever. Just take the tag off. You take the tag off. Some of these lesser brands could hang with the bigger brands just because they got no nice tag logo. on it. Yeah. yeah. It's that logo they see. And that's why a lot of times you'll see logo the uh, uh, brands of uh, uh, rebrand their logo so it looks different and then catches your eye again and takes you a while to associate them with what you usually know, because brands usually stick out before their actual product does. Right. You know, that logo sticks out before their product does. Shout out to Mercedes, because hey, that 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 badge. <laughs> See that TriStar coming. You know what it is. It's a good point, man. It's a good point. BM- and, and BMW's ugly badge. <laughs> who is uh? It, it kind of is though. Uh, look, who is uh? Who would you say? And I guess we kind of answered it already, but is Drew Estate the better brand between Rocky and uh, Drew? We we doing that on this show? Might as well. Let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> this is this sounds like we taking a dump Ooh. on Rocky, and and, and this is and we start hoping this is jump. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do that right now, right here, right now, in the moment. We we so the much better brand. Food. We Rocky much said it without saying it, so <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready to make that statement just yet. Oh, that's, that's Rocky, gonna, is this the nostalgia kicking in? Is this why? Oh man, no, it's just hard. It's just tough to come up with that. With that, who's the better brand? Like we just got done taking a dump you know, on Rocky a little bit, and we just got done bigging up Drew Estate a little bit. <laughs> Right, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go off that energy and just say oh we've been digging up Drew Estate and Drew Estate got one of my look, okay I'm gonna say this Drew Estate has one of my top fives right Rocky does not have any of my top fives right now right now right now but I'm gonna say I probably have more fun Rocky sticks than I have fun Drew Estate sticks. You talking about in the history of your cigar smoking? History. We talking about Edge. We talking about the uh, Fifty Five. We talking about the Royale. <sighs> this one I'm smoking right now is actually pretty good. We'll get to that later. Um, but I've had some, I've had some, some, some Rockies that I actually just like, really fond of. Who's the better brand? So what I'm okay. doing is, uh, I'm getting caught I'm up in the, in the moment. What have you done for me lately? Is what you're saying. And I'm smoking Drew Estate too, by the way. I'm <laughs> and, I'm smoking, and, and, I'm, and I'm smoking Rocky, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm smoking Rocky, smoking Drew Estate. And then we have this conversation. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. 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 So you didn't ask me who has the better cigars. You asked me who's the better brand. That's mm-hmm. what we're sticking with. That's what we're focused on. Brand. brand. We ain't got to say who smoked, who got the best cigars. Okay. Just, Who's the better brand? brand? Who's doing the best right business now. wise? And, and in 2023, the cigars matters too, though. But you know, that's only quarter. quarter okay, okay, quarter four of 2020, 2023. Right now, in this very moment, Drew Estate is the better brand, better company, better. Just is it they, they, they better business approach at this point, right now? Yeah. I feel like that's a come from behind too, though. Mm-hmm. That's come from behind. Like mm-hmm. Rocky was up high on the scoreboard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Drew, yeah, yeah. Drew has been just chipping away little by little. That's, that's why. That's why I want. That's why I want to preference and emphasize. Late twenty twenty three, right now. We're not talking about last year. We're not talking about twenty fifteen. We're talking about right now. Yeah, Drew Estate is in the league. Yeah, H- historically, 
Rocky. Mm-hmm. Rocky Patel, historically. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We take, but as of today, it it just feels like Drew got him. You know what I'm saying? It feels like yeah. Drew got him. But at the same time, it don't feel like that's a dub in the book. It feels mm-hmm. like Rocky could at any point take it. Because Rocky yeah. acted enough to take it. It's just a, Rocky a acted. good year in Rocky and Rocky back is that guy again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Rocky got Rocky got cigar lounges. Drew yeah. State, where you but you ain't even hit that side yet. Yeah. But when we just talking about putting the bands on sticks and 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 and, and selling across the board, I just think I just think Drew Estate got a more impactful imprint right now. I just think they got a more and, and, and keep in mind, Rocky and Drew Estate got some collaborations. The whole Java line, yeah, yeah they part of that. We, 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 yeah, we love that. We yeah. love that. So we're not pitting them against each other, but we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at it this way. Look at it this way. And some people could take it this way. Drew Estate could just be hot right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and Rocky's like, I've been the king forever. Like, you know what I'm saying? You had a hot year, but I'm still I'm still that guy overall. Like, like you said, because Rocky's doing cigar lounges and he's just expanding the culture, which we patted him on the back for that, you know, in the past. But at the same time, like, you got to compliment Drew Estate's rise from really looking like exclusively partnering with companies to really becoming their own juggernaut. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, their own yeah. And, I, and, and they've done, they, they become their own juggernaut by saying, hey, let's, let's team up, let's partner up. Mm-hmm. Let me, let me, let, let me get in the company over here and get into the company of these, of, of, of this cigar line, line over here. And let's, let's bring it together. They, they've been building, building together more so than Rocky has been building separately on his own, doing his own thing in house. You know, I know, I know his brothers have um, started doing their own cigar lines and stuff like that beside Rocky. But I think that's the only outside collaboration that I can think of right now. Like I'm, I could be wrong. Like, I guess if we do the research, we can find out who all Rocky collaborated with, but it feels like Rocky hasn't collaborated much outside of his umbrella outside of, outside of the house. But Drew say is just out in the streets. Just yeah. street teams, we get into it. We gonna we gonna meet up with this people over here. We gonna we 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 we, 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 we gonna collaborate over here. We just bring everybody and invo- get everybody involved, and we just you know what I'm saying. Okay, we'll put it like this then. Let's say this: It feel like Drew Estate got the momentum, but maybe Drew need about another uh, two two three years of this before we can really hand it off and say he got the crown. Like yeah, you know they got the crown, but they. They headed in a direction to take it. You know what I'm saying? But, well, I, what I would say is, so Monte Cristo you know. has um, has teamed up with uh, Placencia. Whoever makes a move towards Placencia next, whether it's Drew or Rocky, who's ever the first one to make that move, might be the winner. Bro, <laughs> and this is this is where it gets weird because I look out if I had to. <laughs> I would look forward to that Drew Estate partnership a lot more than that Rocky Patel partnership with the sense. <laughs> I knew you was gonna say I knew that was coming. That's what you said. I was like, Jesus, that's exactly what he's about to say. Bro, cause cause Drew don't miss they do partnerships, co- bro. Yeah, <laughs> they about, they I, was, I was gonna miss. say that. They don't miss. They don't miss. When they collab, the collabs is hot. <laughs> they features Man, is hot. Right, they features is <laughs> the best features in the game, bro. Like if they partner with, with Placencia. It's gonna be a problem in these streets, bro. I'm telling you, like, whoo, I, I don't, I don't know if Rocky and Placencia are gonna gonna collab like that. It's like when you get them rap songs and you think it's gonna be like a hot one, and he like, ah, mm-hmm. I'm kind of disappointed in that too one. Too much, too much ego, too much uh, bravado. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I think matter of fact, and, remember one time Rocky and Placencia would make Black Republican if they got together. It would be like, dang. <laughs> Like, man, this was supposed to be a hot collab. Why was it? And he, it ain't it. Like, for some reason, Nas and Jay-Z just don't have good collaborations to me. Like, you would hope that it would be better, even though with the joint they did um, on Khaled's last album. It was all right. Sorry, not sorry. They all been on that same... Matter of fact, like, you remember when Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey did a song together and they was performing together? Yeah. You got two vocal powerhouses. Like you just like, yo, these 
they about they they about to get together and and, and do something. It was all right. It was, it was, it was the chemistry cool. just don't be there, and I think a lot of times that comes from them guys don't work in the studio together. Man, they just be like emailing tracks, and they already ain't mm-hmm. got no chemistry, you know. So the type of songs Nas do, Jay don't do. The type of songs Jay do, Nas traditionally don't do. And mm-hmm. I feel like that's what would happen if Rocky and and the singer yeah. together. It would just be that. And Drew Estate is just like what what T Pain was to the early two, to the two thousands. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> get them features. He's gonna get he gonna get you some hooks. He's gonna give you them hooks, boy. It's gonna be a hit. <laughs> like radio ain't gonna be able to go away from it. <laughs> like Whew, that that Drew and Placency, that that makes would be that would be nice. That would be nice. Yeah, something to dream about right there. Please, please, somebody from Drew Estate hear this. Please hear it. Y'all ain't got no pride with, with reaching out to companies and, and doing yeah. Please partner with Placencia. Please. Why not? Why not? Yeah, them. Them. Them more so than uh, Monte Cristo or anybody mm-hmm. else. Like, get with them. Like, get with them. And, 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 and it, was a cool, it was a cool collab. It was a cool collab. We liked it. We liked it. Which one? The Monte Cristo plus this year, uh collab. It was cool. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. I I I had higher hopes for that also, but it mm-hmm. was it was good. It was good though. You know what I'm saying? Uh might be about what Rocky would give us if they got it with him. You know what I'm saying? Probably so. Maybe not. You hesitated. <laughs> and, and I hesitated when I let it go out right of my mouth. I, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rocky. I wanted to build you back up, man. I I wish Rocky could feel our hearts, like and know that that he's really one of our all. Was Rocky in our top five? Oh, uh, I think he was in our top five. I think he was in the top five. Yeah, when we did our um 50th episode. Yeah, our, our overall top five. I believe Rocky made it. I believe Rocky made it. Got to go yeah, back and revisit the tape. Mention. Rocky might have been honorable mention, bro. He might have been honorable mention. I don't no, think Rocky. I think, Oliva, I think Oliva was honorable mention. Yeah, Oliva was honorable mention. Mm-hmm. But I think Rocky made it. I think Rocky made it. Okay. Man. Hey, man, you want to shift gears for a second, man, before we get into these reviews? Mm-hmm. And What's this up? might be long-winded, man, but we, we kind of touched on this before we got on air. We were talking about, uh, I, was, I said something to you about the root of all evil being money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, I just was I was just wanting to touch on that, man. Just people always say money's the root of all evil, and I have a counter argument to that. That people tend to do a lot more evil when they don't have money, and and that's what you see in the news is people without money doing bad things. People who in uh down on their luck, doing desperate things. You know what I'm saying? And the people that are rich. We always have a conspiracy theory, and I'm I'm giving the short answer to this, so you know I'm leaving a lot of room for somebody to be like try to tear holes in my argument. But everything <laughs> anybody ever told you about being rich and, and rich people doing bad stuff, this all comes from some type of conspiracy you've been told. But we ain't never seen the real evidence of of it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. on I mean, a consistent basis, not a one off scenario. I, I would say this on a consistent basis. I would say this is certain dollar amount levels we're not in the, we're not in those rooms we're not in those rooms so we don't know the conversations we don't know the intentions we don't know the moves that people with a certain dollar amount what kind of moves they making and if it's a evil move or not and I think the biggest thing that comes with with the idea of money especially when it, when it's a lot of money people start getting a lot of money it's that greed is that is that 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 love of money leading to greed and making people do whatever they got to do to get more money? So yes, in that aspect, you know I'm saying the the root of evil is money is root of evil, or the love of money is root of all evil. Um, but on our levels, hey, for the most people that we know, you give give them some money, they ain't bother nobody. They just gonna take their money and they gonna go chill. Yeah. We got the way. You ain't got to worry about me. I ain't got to rob. I ain't got to loot. I ain't got to steal. I ain't got to scheme. You know, and then Which one is the higher percentage of the population. It's it's, it's 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 the us. We're the higher percentage of the population. That's all uh, we people. Judge by. If you, that's if that's you, a if good you, scope to judge people by. 
Yeah, if I just get a little, if I just get a little something, I'm out the way, and I ain't got to get pulled over for my for my tags being expired because I can go ahead and pay the taxes and, and get this done. I ain't got to worry about having to figure out how to pay this rent. I ain't got to go do X, Y, and Z just to get some. Or when Christmas come around, I ain't got to go rob people and and break through cars and stuff like that. You'll see a lot of those common crimes dialed back when more money is. Is is flowing, right? More so than those big dollars. Isn't that a? Isn't it? Then wouldn't it be better to assess what one percent of the population would do, based off of being able to assess what ninety nine percent of people would do? Yeah, it would be better. So, yeah. So what? So so what you said earlier about we don't know what's going on in the rooms, that goes back to the conspiracy of it. We don't know, so we just speculate. yeah, We're speculating. speculating and assuming the worst, but because we most the average person can't wrap their mind around how you get that much money, you got to be doing something wrong. Ain't no way you got that much money. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and and, and the biggest thing I think the the, the huge the, uh, huge issue is when it comes to control of money. Like one thing I never really understood was people and crimes, criminal criminal activity when it comes to money, or people like tax like tax stuff and like it. it Honestly, when, it, when 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 you look at money, especially the way money is now, it's all digital. It's all a number. You don't see it. It doesn't really exist other than a number on your screen. I log, log into my Bank of America app or my Navy Federal app, and I see a number. And Oh, that's how much money I got. But yeah. I don't see the money. I just see what a, what a computer's telling me I got. Yeah. I should just see what, what, a, what, what a direct deposit from DFAS gave me. All right, I guess I got some money. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then people get in trouble and go to jail and have to do jail time for tax this and and all of these weird things when it comes to money. And who's just said like and, and it's, it's it's all fictitious in a sense. So people doing jail time, prison time for fictitious made up yeah. numbers. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come down to that. It can come to that. It's wild. Wow. Hey, speaking of criminals, though, even your biggest crime people, like your biggest mm-hmm. drug dealers and your biggest mob guys, once they get to a certain number of money, what do they do? Most of them all have stories of how they go back and help the community once they reach a certain yeah. point. True, true. Like, you know, I- any of them, any of them, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Shoot, as feared as Escobar was, not uh, 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 Pablo Escobar was. He was beloved by a lot of people in this country. Also, a lot of people, like, yeah, yeah, true. Because they were doing a lot of a lot, a lot of financial check things to the community, to where this 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 is beneficial. And then their motto was they don't harm, harm anybody or hurt anybody who are civilians. If you're out of the game, this is all in house. So, matter of fact, just last year or early this year, I can't remember when it was. A little bit early this year, I was big on mob stories, man. I was just mafia, mob, whatever. Yeah. I was just documentary after documentary, movie after movie, and a lot of them committed some heinous murders and things like that, but never saw them as doing wrong because they're not doing anything against the general population. They, they saw themselves as more heroes than people who did bad things, even though they killed people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but they like, this has nothing to do with anything out here. their own moral structure. With moral the structure. They were doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just like a soldier, they they looked at it as a soldier go to combat, they might have to kill somebody. Yeah. To make it back home or to meet a mission. So not that I'm doing anything bad. Yeah, I might I might have like ten bodies, twenty bodies, but it was it was business. For the greater good. Yeah. Yeah, for the greater yeah. good. And then you're gonna see so many more thousands of people eat off of me doing what I'm doing. Yeah. To get what I'm getting because now I'm providing. I'm providing a means. I'm employing. I'm, I'm giving money. I'm, I'm, I'm getting getting people off the streets, even though we might be providing things for the streets. <laughs> but I'm getting I'm getting, I'm getting people off the streets. It's, it's 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 a whole weird. But I was fascinated by it for like a good six months, man. Fascinated by it. That's a that's a great correlation you made to the uh, army and just street life. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. that is how a lot of those guys and those mafias and, and mobs view it. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they have their own ethics. You know what I'm saying? They're mm-hmm. they not just moving recklessly. It's very organized. Like Very organized. Yeah, organized. Like, I, I like our street 
crime. I'm like our, our gangs and stuff. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? So, 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 so the gangs of people who with no money, they're more reckless and more heinous with their with, with, with their movements. It's just like whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they don't have money. Now, if they have money, they might be more organized. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at, bro. Like, oh, 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 money is the root of evil, man. It it just might be some garbage, man. That, that yeah. people it's a, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of gray area. Yeah, it's a lot of gray area. Yeah. And like we were talking about before we got on is the fact that the idea could be a, a, a spooking idea just to spook you from wanting to go get more money. Or, oh no, I should only I should only have I should only want to have but so much money because if I want more money, then I'm being evil because I shouldn't be chasing money. I shouldn't be doing this to get money. So let me lay off and let me just stay broke and stay humble and stay, stay meek and and whatever. Like, yeah, that's that's all good and fine. But who's to say you can't have you, you shouldn't have more money? You shouldn't want to go get you shouldn't want to obtain. Opulence. Yeah. Opulence, man. Opulence, 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 opulence. <laughs> opulence. They had a bunch of age, time, they, the age of opulence. Age of opulence. Yeah, man. It's a it's upon us, man. It is upon us. Let's get into these stick reviews, though, brother. Let's do it, man. I'm gonna go ahead, and go first. I'm gonna go first. Let me let let me let me at him. Let me at him. <laughs> go on the cook. <laughs> All right, so Rocky Patel special edition. It's a uh, blue. I mean, a, pur- a purple and white band. Um, special edition for a reason. It's really good. <laughs> so we dumped doing Rocky Patel the whole episode, but yeah. so far I'm only through the first third, and I'm expecting for this cigar to really have an even, 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 an even flavor palette, right? So what I've got was a lot of nuttiness, um, some smooth, creamy cocoa flavors which is very welcome for me. Um, I was expecting a little bit of spice because it's rocky, but almost none, almost none. So I was kind of kind of disappointed by that. You know, I was like, all right, we just want to rock. Rocky don't have, go, go hit me with some pepper in the beginning. And I got very little pepper in the beginning. It came over like with that like nice, smooth, strong, nutty, earthy tones, right? Just good cocoa. And that's what I've gotten so far in that first third. But really enjoyable. It's like one of those cookout sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Would I take this on a yacht just yet? Probably not, but yeah. really enjoyable. Really enjoyable. Probably one of it might be one of my favorite uh, Rockies. I'll probably put in my top five favorite Rockies right now, and I would have this one compete against my fifty fives and my Royales and and um the Edge uh, to say, hey, look, you can probably be one of my favorite Rockies. So I'll, I'm probably gonna go ahead and smoke this one. Well, I will go ahead and smoke this one all the way through. And probably pick up another one just to see, hey, is it really hit me where I'm thinking it should hit me? Yeah. So I'm going to rate this in the fours. I'll let you know. Rate this in the fours. So where we are right now through this first uh, first third going into the second third, I'm going to say a 4.1. I get a 4.1. Okay. Okay. All right. And uh, what was the name of that one more time? Um, It's just a special edition. Rocky Patel special edition. Special edition. Okay. Yeah, that's your um, All right, so your white and purple band. There you go. So for me, I have the Nika Rustic Rustica Nika Rustica Connecticut Broadleaf by Drew Estate. Uh, that's about how far I got into it. I w- I'm just entering my second third here. Uh, pretty pretty, just getting into it. Good, put it that way. So for me, my experience so far has been a good one. I would say it has been probably a medium body stick through and through. It has a very great aroma that I've uh, been enjoying throughout the entire smoke. It's got a little bit of creaminess to it. It's got some earthiness to it. Um, good amount of toastiness on it. Um, I would also say pick up on a little bit of a uh, nutty type uh coffee type notes and whatnot on it. Um, some of the smoke has a little bit of creaminess. I was told when I got this, it was going to have some spice to it. The spice has been there very subtly only on the retro hill, but it has been there throughout it entirely. But I only pick up on it when retro hill. Um, so I appreciate that spice. I was kind of hoping for a little more, you know, uh, just to kind of catch it throughout without retro hill, but it, it, it was still there. 
So overall for me, I give this stick, I'm going to go with a 4.1 out of 5 also. Same score. Um, and maybe a 4.1 don't really do justice to how much I really enjoyed the stick because I really did. I would uh, definitely pick this up again, but I just don't feel like giving it a 4.2. I feel like 4.1 is accurate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so right now we neck and neck with the Drew and the, and the Rocky Patel. The Drew is neck and neck. 4.1s or 4.1s <laughs> for, for, for Rocky and Drew today. So that does not give us any separation from where we already no were. No separation. We still where we at. <laughs> where we at. Now, with this cigar, everything was done uh, extremely smooth, though. Let me let me let that be known. It was mm-hmm. done smooth to the point where it could... Smooth like the luxury companies do it. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, something was missing to, to put it there. It was mm-hmm. a great stick, bro. Great stick. I, I, I need E-class. to have it in the humidor. E-class. 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 <laughs> great way to put it. This is E-class. You know what I'm saying? E-class stick. I like that. Yeah. Well, there we are. Drew Estate yeah. versus Rocky. Who's going to make that collab happen first for Placentia? Who go, who, who go, uh, it's probably going to be Drew. Drew steps out the box first, uh, more so than anybody else. So if anybody does do it, it, Drew. Please do it. <laughs> I would love hey, to see man. it happen. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, man, we appreciate y'all for tuning in to the Burnings Week episode 68 yeah. of Vernon Cigars, man. Get me a jersey, man. Appreciate mate. y'all, man. Always get tuning in. and We'll get with y'all next week. Y'all keep them uh, Rocky Patels and them Drew Estates up. Keep them Gurkhas down. We'll holler at y'all. <laughs> we out. <laughs>